Hey everybody, this is your favorite owl over here. Just a before the thing. So we do, we did stream Flynn's route right afterwards, and it was a fucking roller coaster. The next few minutes will be just my thoughts on the Leo route, but. Since it is the month of October right now, we possibly will stream the last three routes that we have left of Echo some point next the following week or this coming week. <clears throat> so this is just a heads up on what's to come for Echo because I think I gave myself enough time to actually move on from Lynn's route. Uh, Enjoy the recording. Uh. Okay, I'm not... I'm tearing up a little. I wish I got some closure like that, but like, damn. Hey, at least you... <laughs> Wait, is this copywritten? Is this copywritten music? <laughs> I got... Go. So I think we all should group hug now. Honestly, yeah. Oh my god, no, we gotta talk about this because this was a fucking roller coaster. Like I love your group hugs, I'll be back. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But like this was a fucking roller coaster of a fucking ride. Like starting from here, like from from the beginning, like seeing all our friends just jib like each other like poke fun and talk and like it was nice a nice reunion and then like it gets more serious with the, the conversation of like how we were in the past and him bringing it up and like that spurred something in me that i didn't know what to feel how to feel about that like he learning about how he still likes slash loves me ever since i've left and then, like, after the entire swim, how how Flynn just went at us and called out freaking Leo for just wanting, planning this entire week to get back in our pants. Like, that, that started the bridge of, like, who I wanted to go to. And then having, go, following, like, Leo get getting to getting the bar like getting the drinks and having drunk with him and having that entire situation where cud saves us from clint and stops leo from killing him and that entire scene in the bathroom where he sees the other otter confused me a bit like that's like so all the red flags are there we've seen it we know it and then like this happened and that just pulled me in further. And then all this shit happened, which scared the hell out of me. I think I had enough closure of sleeping to calm down a bit. But like, what the fuck is this? Like, did we ever discover what it really was or how to stop it? Like, we never truly figured out what, what's going on. And like... We never found out how Sydney died, nor did we find out who the second person is in our mind. Because from it, what it sounds like, it's someone who died in that mind that's in our body. Like, I might just go through this again. At, for, like, skip to this portion to see the other routes. And we're going to the longest ones again. So, if we... <sighs> Uh, like I want to know I really want to know now I need closure on figuring out like what's going on like also TJ is still messed up like that entire scene of him asking like asking where Chase was at the lake makes me think like he when when Jenna found him at the lake asking where Chase was and staring down at the lake and then the entire situation where we were in the lake and pulling him back out and him saying, where's Sydney? Makes me think we killed Sydney. Like, that makes me think we just left him there to drown. 
because we couldn't breathe for that long at that young of an age. Like, I think we drowned Sydney. We, we, we drowned him in that lake. And like, we, we never got closure from like that. And then there's this entire like shit, like, oh my God. Like, I need, I need to go back and do this again. Like, I want to go back and do this again. Like, I need more info. Like, this is so much. This is too much, but like, I don't know if I have the energy to actually go back into this.